Iced coffee is the perfect way to get your caffeine fix when it's still so hot outside. Today we're learning how to make cold brew at home like a barista. Christine Geringer from White Bison Coffee is showing us how. So summertime, is this something that is very popular on the menu oh, yeah. for you all? Yeah, I don't think we can make it fast enough sometimes. Uh -huh. and it's a long process to make it, so we're constantly having baristas with our giant buckets in the back making it. All right, super. So tell me about how you can make it, because we're going to show two ways here. Sure. One using just a mason jar, and then the other process here. So if we're using this, start us out. Sure. So two of the biggest things when making coffee at home that we get the questions about is, how do you make it? And so our two pieces are the ratio of coffee to water and then also the water quality. So making sure it's filtered water. So coarse ground coffee, okay. you can find a mason jar probably at home. So this is probably gonna be the easiest. And you say coarse, just what's the kind that we can use in a, in a coffee pot? Uh, coarser than that. So coarser you, than that? Yep, okay. so think French press. If you have a barista, grind it for you if you have uh, one at home. Okay, yep. already. So already pre-did this. But our ratio that we tend to use is a one to six when making cold brew. So we're going to do four ounces of coffee. Okay. And then you do three cups of water. Alrighty. And while this is longer than making a sweet tea, the, the, the key thing is this is not something we're making for right now. It's something Correct. that... Correct. Okay. It's for, it's for tomorrow. Uh -huh. Yep. So we would stir this up put a lid on it and we let it sit in our fridge. So what's gonna happen is that it's the time instead of heat that is gonna bring the flavor out of the coffee. Okay. Yep, so then the next day, you after 12, 14, 16 hours, really up to you, mm -hmm. keeping it in that range, you would go ahead and get your handy coffee filter, put yeah. it in a strainer, you would pour it through to get all the grounds out, okay. and there you go, you have what we would call a concentrate of it. So you would still do a one-to-one -one ratio of the concentrate to water okay. to get the delicious cold brew that you would want to drink. Super, so that's a way to do it in a mason jar. That's another process, that's yep. a quicker process. Yes. But where does the milk come in? Are you just, is it just topping it all? Oh, so we can make one for you. So we already have one here. Okay. And it's just ice, we put our cold brew in it, what kind of milk do you like? Uh, whole milk. Whole milk, we can do that. We'll put some of our honey cinnamon syrup that we've made. Okay. So as you do that, you've got some other things that are over here as mm -hmm. well. You've got a lot of coffee, but you've also got some sweet treats to go with that coffee. Oh yeah, everyone likes a little something to go with their coffee. So we have pastries, we have food as like sandwiches, uh, bistro boxes, salads, uh -huh. all kinds of stuff. All right, so fantastic. So we're going to bring this out, and that's what it looks like right yep. there, and we are good to go. You can visit the folks over at White Bison's <laughs> Coffee in their newest location in 12 South, or find other locations near you. Visit whitebisontn.com. Great. Thank you very much for being with us and thank for the you. lesson today.